In this video, we're going to learn how to connect our EC2 server um, using FTP client. And we need that so that we can uh, upload our PHP scripts uh, to our web server. And in Amazon uh, tutorial under setting up, um, we can look up under section create a key pair. There is an optional step where Amazon um, explains how to connect um, to Linux um, instance from Windows computer using a PuTTY FTP client. So you can follow these instructions uh, uh, for Windows, but I'm running Mac and I will need a different file transfer protocol uh, client. Um, I'm using FileZilla. Uh, I have found it on internet and I've installed it and I've used it for many years now. So it's here on my desktop, it's called FileZilla. There are many uh, file transfer protocol clients. You can use any of them as, uh, as long as it works for you. So I'm going to use FileZilla and I'll show you how to uh, set up it. So if I start it, uh, it wants me to update to a latest version. I'll just close it. So under FileZilla, if I go to settings, I will uh, need to uh, upload my certificate and I will do that under FTP settings. So uh, I'll need to go under FTP, under SFTP, and I have some uh, certificates already imported. So I want to uh, click on add key file and uh, the key file that I've downloaded from uh, when I was setting up my Amazon instance, I've saved it on desktop. So that is the same key file, video course server .pm. So this is the certificate file. I will select it and FileZilla would like to convert it to a supported uh, format. I'll say yes and I'll save it on the desktop. So that's going to create another file which will have extension uh, PPK. So I will also, uh, I want to also save it and, uh, and not lose it because I'm going to be using it to connect to my instance using um, uh, FTP. So once this file is added, I can clo uh, close this and um, click on this button, open site manager. Under site manager, I want to, um, there are some uh, uh, sites that I have already configured. So I'll click on new site and under a new site, I'll give it a name like video course. Um, I'll give it a name and then host is going to be our IP address, the public IP address of our computer. I mean, of our EC2 instance, I'll go back to a list of my uh, uh, servers on Amazon and I'll copy public IP address. Okay, so I'll copy it and I'll come back here. The uh, port number is 22 and how do I know that? I can look it up under security groups and I'll select the security group that I've configured and here we go. TCP IP, uh, I have port number 22 and that's going to be uh, a secure uh, SFTP connection and I will choose normal and for user I want to use EC2 user that's going to be the username and password there is no password uh, I want to clear this field because we are going to be using uh, the private key uh, file that we have just uh, uh, connected uh, set up to FileZilla Okay, and now I can click on connect and uh, it says that the server host key is unknown. You have no guarantee that the server uh, is the computer that you think is. It's okay, just click okay. And we're connected, here we go. I am connected to my Linux computer running on Amazon with the certificate file that I have. So I can go back, go back, and then I can go to var folder and to my www html and here we go here's my php my admin uh, okay so um and if i go back again so this is the folder um var www html this is the public folder where we're going to be um, 
uploading our PHP scripts and working. So the left side is our um, local computer and the right side is our remote computer. 